In this segment of News 24 Live's Pulse, we sit down with Laura Vilfokel, or more affectionately known as Lady Scully. This Cape Town-based visual artist has taken the art scene by storm. We sit down with the artist to find out exactly what's keeping her going. Laura, thank you so much for joining us at News 24. What's up, News 24? <laughs> <laughs> Laura, you've been super busy um, this year. There's been a lot of work. Can you just tell us what is it that you focus on as an artist? So my subject matter is mostly around um, gender and sexuality. Um, I also have a big interest in human relationships and obviously uh, more the angle of sex, but mostly because people have to be so emotionally invested you know, to engage in sex. I know it, it can also be cheap and fast and whatever, but I'm more interested in people's first sexual experiences, um, the gender roles and the gender games we play with each other, um, that kind of thing, and all through the very granny-like medium of watercolor. So yeah, for me, the sex and the fruit, and obviously, you know, um, nature mirrors life, and fruits are a very sexual thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very reflective of genitalia. How has that growth been for yourself? I know you, know, you want to evolve. Have you kind of learned new things that maybe have informed, you know, your water paintings and stuff? Like, how has that come in? Um, I think a lot of my things are very influenced by what I'm going through at the moment. And um, I think like everyone, I go through things, you know, experiences <laughs> that make you stronger. And 2015 was a year for me of really taking my experiences and pouring it into my work. And so I did my first solo show and it was called um, Ask for What You Want um, at World Art Gallery in Cape Town. Um, I was invited by the Michael Stevenson, which was a huge honor. Um, I made schoolified their entrance and did um, two huge murals. A massive honor because the Michael Stevenson is really um, a pinnacle of fine art for me. <laughs> um, and what else did I do this year? Goodness. Um, yes, the podcast got formalized into a podcast because it was a live radio show before. Okay. <laughs> so I would just, meh, 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 sex, meh, 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 you know, for like a year. Um, with very little um, preparation. But this time it was really cool. We've got Lalela Media on board and they sent me to the Sexpo. And so I'm doing very theatrical, sexual little stories and storytelling themes on the show. I'm just doing like quite a few random little talks before I go to Joburg for the residency. And David Crypt and um, the Association for Visual Arts have just been so kind and organized this really cool event. Um, angle around artists that use zines as a vessel to get their work out there and because Carps at Kinsey was like really the first way I really showed people what type of work I wanted to do, um, I thought it would be cool to speak here. Yeah. So tell me, I mean, uh, if there's a Bureau watching who really wants to get involved in the art industry and also just really find their own language to communicate um, their ideas. What would you say to that viewer? I'd say find your niche and be what you are looking for. Like be, if you find something interesting, like isolate what you find interesting about that label, about that artist, about that celebrity, whatever. And I don't mean, oh, she's got a nice face and so that's why I like her. I mean like really something you um, look up to within their work ethic or whatever they represent. And I don't mean bite other people, I just mean take what you know makes them special to you and be that thing, like be that thing that you want to see in the world. It's like the shortest way I can describe it. Yeah. <laughs>